Hey guys, this is my Precision Matthews PM30 MV CNC converted mill. Uh, and I'm making this video because I wanted to share with you uh, this little black frame stand riser thing that I uh, built for the mill in an attempt to make it more stable. I will try to maybe uh, get you some photos in the link in the description or maybe as somewhere in the corner of this video or something of what I had before this black uh, frame riser. But essentially what I had was just bolts on kind of little wooden pads um, and I used just straight up bolts, uh, inverted bolts as the leveling feet on the black pad. So um, it, it wasn't quite as solid as it would have been with like leveling feet like this um, kind of right under the frame there. Uh, in fact, it was, I'd, I'd even call it a safety concern. <laughs> and I don't know that having leveling feet in place of those sketchy bolts that I had would even really solve uh, much of that problem. But so I enjoyed making this black frame. I think it looks pretty slick to me anyway. I contoured all of these kind of slick little foot mount things um, that to me I thought looked pretty good. The joints, you know, I CNC'd some slotted holes and kind of made what I thought was a cool design for a, what I was hoping was going to be a nice rigid machine stand. But, you know, I will be the first to admit when something <laughs> comes out underwhelming and... Here, I will just, I'll stop talking and I'm gonna push the mill around here for you. So I am kind of pushing it at its natural frequency, but I mean, okay, my gosh, I'm just making excuses. That should never happen. And, you know, I, maybe it'll be a little more, it's not level right now, so it could be acting like a little bit of a bar stool with uneven feet or something. But, um, man, the, 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 the real issue is this, this blue frame that I got as part of the, uh, part of the PM30 when I was getting the accessories. Uh, it is junk, guys. If you're thinking about getting a PM30 MV or a 25 MV or whatever, any of these benchtop mills that go with this kind of sheet metal, this kind of sheet metal frame or machine stand, don't do it. I would strongly discourage you from uh, purchasing this thing. I think it's about $250 US, which, listen, $250 for, you know, like a fabricated weldment like this, powder coated, doesn't take, get you much. It's not a ton of money, I guess, but you do get what you pay for. And the issue is, like, if you take a look here, you can see kind of some daylight through these cracks. Uh, and that's on all four corners. And so what that means is that this big, heavy-duty black framing, and, and all of this stuff is two and a half inch by two and a half inch by quarter inch wall, mild steel tubing. So it's like super heavy-duty stuff. Um, these are all half inch bolts, super heavy duty. And so this big, dirty half inch bolt is really just holding onto like a paper thin strip of material. And this thing is just no good. Like, man, it'll get you by, but for 250 bucks, even if you built a wooden stand or frame, get yourself some solid, you know, I don't know, some solid, some solid uh, wood material, and you can build something significantly better than this, uh, significantly more solid than this chintzy little blue frame. Um, I, 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 I'm really, really happy with the, with the mill. I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm, I'm trash talking Precision Matthews because I'm not. Uh, these mills are great for what they are. I've got nothing but good things to say about it. I run this little thing pretty damn hard and because it's not rigid, you know, these axes are moving around all the time. That spindle motor, like I run, I run, you know, you run some pretty long programs. Uh, I don't have an automatic tool changer, but you know, you run like an hour, two hour program, come in here, switch the tool and you know, let it run some more and it, you know, everything heats up and it, it gets warm and hot and, but it's never quit, never given me a problem. Um, they're great mills, guys. If you're thinking about buying one, I would strongly recommend it. I would buy this all over again, but do not, whatever you do, <laughs> get this chintzy little frame. You will not be satisfied. Um, the, like I say, you know, a big heavy duty wooden frame table would be better. The move for me is probably going to be to buy some more uh, tubing like that and build a kind of full solid table with a big heavy flat plate on top to bolt the mill to and just be done with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed making it. I got to uh, kind of CNC some cool contours and features and slotted holes. And I, I did what, you know, I kind of did my best to do a nice kind of even almost sloppy design that would all come together loose and then, you know, tighten it all up when uh, when everything fit together and it went on great and I'm, I'm happy to share the plans or solid models or um, 
step files, whatever, with anybody that's interested, if, if you are, because it's definitely no longer a safety concern, but yeah, you saw it. I'll show you, I'll rock it again. It's this, it's this chintzy little blue frame. And, and again, I think I mentioned it's not level yet, so it could be, you know, like an uneven table or bar stool or something. But um, yeah, don't get the blue frame, guys. Just don't do it. <laughs> uh, I think some of the bigger bench mills come with a cast uh, frame stand, and that I'm sure is fine. But this little guy just uh, doesn't cut it. Anyhow, have a good one, guys. Cheers.